Masters. Actually, Alan, after your telephone call to Joan Collins, I'm thinking about changing my name to Vic. Do you think that'll be all right? <laughs> no, I've changed my name to Vic before you changed your name to Vic. It was almost an invitation there. It was, was it? Look, I, I'm, I've got some very bad news for you. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Well, you better have the good news. I suppose he's here, but the bad news is he won't come up because I've, for weeks I've been saying to him he's going to meet a megastar, a megastar. So he's putting on the makeup in the box. So well, he's, not, he's not available. He's not available. So in the meantime, you're going to have to talk to me. I'll talk to you in, in the meantime. The Secret Life of Sooty. He's only 42. It seems a bit early for a major biography to come out about. Well, there's quite a lot to be said about Sooty. And I, and I must say that the book that's been written isn't really a book for children. I mean, it's a book for people, well, like the audience here. I mean, it's, a, it's for people to say, oh, yes, I remember that and fancy that and uh, who would have thought that? I mean, lots of interesting facts. I mean, he's been around for a very long time since television started. He's the longest running programme of all on television, so I, I think it was about time a book was written. It's nice also to meet somebody who's older than me. How did, <laughs> how did George Harrison... I'm looking that better. That wasn't that funny. <laughs> how, did, how did George Harrison come to write the foreword for it? Well, it's quite interesting. Some years ago, uh, my agent rang me up and he said, will you do a children's party? And uh, I'm lucky enough not to be able to, not to have to do children's parties, so I don't do them. So I said, no, 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 I don't do children's parties. He said, I think you'll do this one. I said, no, no, I won't do it. He said, it's George Harrison. I said, I'll do it. <laughs> because, of course, he was my hero when I was a kid. Yeah. But I said, I'll only do it if, if he doesn't pay me, if George doesn't pay, but invites me to the party as a guest. So uh, we became friends after that. And, uh, and George's son, Danny, was a big Sooty fan. And, uh, and so George had a lot of time for Sooty. Because, you say, he was established. He's, he's been fed up with all the stars with royalty et al. You, though, had to take over from your father, Harry Corbett. It was always, you know, when I was a nipper, Harry Corbett and Sooty. Me too. That's, that's the same for you. <laughs> I remember, but, remember it well. It, presumably a bit of a, an emotional upheaval when you yes. have to take on the family friends. A very difficult, a very sad time, but, but at the same time, it, it's, it's nice to look back and think that my father would have been proud of, uh, of me sitting here with you today. And, and Sooty's still mega. I mean, Sooty's still there right at the very top. I mean, you know, Ninja Turtles, etc., etc. I mean, that's terrific for this year, next year, perhaps. There won't be any Ninja Turtles, but there will still be a Sooty, and that's been the way it's been for 40 years. How does your, without getting too heavy, but I mean, how does your relationship with Sooty differ from your father's? I remember stories about your father who wouldn't go on holiday unless Sooty was in the car with him. Yes, it, the, the, there is that story, and, and it's true, in fact. I remember being in the back of the car, and we'd set off. I was only about seven years old. We set off on holiday, and the car stopped. My mother said to my father, what is it? And my father said, we can't go without him. And she said, but both the boys are in the car. He said, no, we can't go without Sooty. So he turned back and went, went and got Sooty. And I suppose the difference is that if I would stop the car and say, we've got to go back home, and my wife Sally would say, why? I'd say, to take Sooty back. Because I want my, my private life, when yeah. it's my, my own life, yeah. to be mine. And my father simply adored uh, being the man behind Sooty. What, what's the secret of his longevity? I mean, he's been going for 42 years. It's a heck of a long time. What did you say? Longevity. No, no, the word pup, pup, pup. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm a person, a little oh, fairy's right. person. For 42 you didn't say puppet then, did you? No, I didn't, no. Yeah, because otherwise no. you had to go and wash your mouth out no. with soap and water. No, it was Judy Spy's it's... crown, it slipped again. <laughs> you wearing it in for her? I'm trying to run it in for her. But he's lasted all this time and he's not poor. Yes. Why has he stayed fresh? I think it's because uh, mums know that they can rely upon Sooty. They know that if they come to see the stage show, that it's going to be something which which is not violent, which is not evil. I mean, he's naughty, but then all kids so are naughty. They're all getting itchy. Yeah. Have to, we'll have to bring him on. Well. Ladies and gentlemen, Sooty! <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. No, you see, because there are no children in the studio, it's not going to work. So you're going to have to pretend that you're five years old. That's not difficult. Well, it shouldn't be difficult for you. So <laughs> you're going to have to lane. lean across and knock on the top of the... Come on, little Alan. That was pathetic. Right. <laughs> Who's that? So, see, we are in the presence of a megastar. Is that Joan Collins? No, it's not Joan Collins. Is it Phil Collins? No, it's not <laughs> Phil Collins. It's Titchmarch. Alan Titchmarch. Have I got a cold? No, I wasn't sneezing. That's his name, Titchmarch. That's who it is. Will he say hello to you? Yes, go on, shake his paw. Hello, on, shake hello, his paw. nice to see you. I've been a fan for <laughs> as long as I can remember. He's got a very strong grip. I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> what does he want to know? What do you want to know then, Alan? What do what you I want to know? I want to know, know Sooty, if, if you're actually into fake fur or if it's real. Yes, he originated <laughs> fake fur. <laughs> because Sooty wasn't born so much as crocheted, you see, that's yeah. why. You have. Alan. Yes. Sooty says yes. he's got a little present for you. Uh, he was going to give it to Joan, 
but it's for you. No, so, I've had, no I'm sorry, I've what, had this no, present before. No, 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 what, what do you think it is? I, it's the old water pistol. No, it's not the water pistol, it's just, just a rosette. Oh, just a I'll little, oh, a sooty yeah, rosette. I'll always wear it. it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, uh, it, it's, got, it's got something else for you. It's down here, yes. it's down here. Do you think it's a water pistol? <laughs> no, it's just, just, a just a little tooth mug for, your, for your brace, to put your brace in. Yes, right, that's very kind. Got something else? Oh, we've got something else. Look, here is, here's a video for you, an educational yeah, video. We can't advertise, so it's, it's not we're really not allowed, allowed No, we're not allowed to. Advertise. Well, here's the other educational video. Yes, it's a real complicated one. Right. It's <laughs> really complicated. I'll ask him. He says, would you mind if he waved to the audience, by no, the way? Will everybody, to the audience. will everybody wave to Sooty? You know, he really doesn't... Oh, I... he's crying. Can What's I'm the sorry. matter? He said all the technicians weren't waving. Come on, you lot, you've got to wave as well. Come on. Can you please... I'm... There's a water pistol in there. Can I confiscate this water pistol? You want to give us a... No, 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 please, don't... No, I'm going to... No, I'm sorry. I... No, I... Oh, oh, oh I'm Alan sorry. Alan Titchmarsh. Oh. oh, all together or not at all. Oh. <laughs> television presenter who survived and actually managed to confiscate Well, that's because you confiscated a water pistol. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, that wasn't his because his is here. You can have it. Oh, no, you... <laughs> no, don't do that. No, don't... <laughs> no, no, don't do that. Please. Joan, stay in bed. You're well off out of it. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I am. What? What? <laughs> Close Ladies eyes, and gentlemen. Don't, talk, don't Let, talk about the educational can videos, we, will you? Can, you, can we return to, return to our weather theme now? Get off. <laughs> it's raining. It's raining. Is Aha with their current well, hit single? Because we're talking about talking about weather, Jim really, Collins aren't we? Lucky lady. They've got a record that's number 19. <laughs> number 19 in the charts. That was going to be such a good programme, this. First recorded by the Everly Brothers. Here they are. Guess crying in the rain. Alan, you're all wet. It's dripping.